All right, so welcome back to Garden Warfare 2 mods. Fancy playing another boss today, and I thought, who should we play? I mean, in case the answer wasn't already obvious. I sat and I thought to myself, I'll tell you what, what's a boss that gets right on my nipple end? As a matter of fact, what boss do I hate the most? And honestly, there was only ever really one answer. We are playing the Super Bean. I hate this boss. I, I hate him with an absolute burning passion. He's an annoying little floating hitbox. He has a shield that regenerates. He teleports. He's got that annoying little focus laser attack that he does where he gets this, I, I don't even want to call it damage reduction. It's more like damage prevention. And honestly, he's just all around a piece of shit. So I thought he would make an excellent candidate for this particular installment. Now it's just a question of what he actually does in the mod. Also quickly, before we go any further, I just want to say this is the same boss mod that we looked at in the first episode. I did say I was going to be coming back to this one. So credit for this particular mod goes to Mr. JT. He's got his own channel as well, where he does all of his own stuff. I left a link to it in the description. So make sure you go and check him out. So his primary is called Cape Twirl. Okay. Okay, it didn't even do anything that time. I presume this does damage, as most primary weapons do. Does he have a secondary fire? He does. It's called Laser Beam. I uh, get it. It's like Laser Beam, but with an N at the end, so it says Bean instead. So is this thing indefinite? Does this thing not even overheat? Okay, subject to how much damage that does, that's kind of OP. Yeah, like, playing as a boss wasn't already OP. LB. Okay like a war. RB, I presume this is going to be the shield. Yep. Can still do everything from inside this. Can I deactivate it? Yes. And then this is going to be the focus laser attack, isn't it? Overbeam. Yep, that's the one. Okay, it didn't last for very long, but it seemed like it recharged instantly. Okay, this is really weird. So you can use it for a little bit and then there's like a little cooldown to it. You don't actually have to kind of wait for the ability to recharge as such. It's just kind of the beam itself overheats very quickly and then you have to wait for it to cool down. What kind of damage are we talking anyway? Well, that didn't do anything. Let me see what everything does. It would help if I could get to a zombie before he dies. Okay, I saw a 25 there. So it does like... It did 25, but it looked like it hit twice. So we talking like 50. The laser bean... Nine. Okay, so the laser beam actually hits decent damage. And then the overbeam. Apparently doesn't hit any damage whatsoever. Wait, are you kidding? It, does it really not do anything? Okay, so overbeam does nothing. <laughs> this is like his main ability and it does absolutely no damage whatsoever. Now, hang on, wait a minute. Surely I fucked up somewhere. Super bean is ready to pop up. Up and away as he puts zombies in their place. It doesn't really say anything. I mean, like, should we just get into a game with him and see if it's any different in there? I don't know, maybe it's one of them ones where it just don't work against brown coats or something. I don't know. Uh, Vanquish confirmed. Why not? Lunar landing. Crazy. Let's do it. Having a bit of trouble getting in the portal. Uh. Okay. It appears I can't actually enter the portal as the super bean also do me a favor if you enjoy this episode of the mod series make sure you subscribe turn on notifications we are so close so close also another thing real quick if you ever wanted to grab yourself a bit of merch maybe even one of these you can go to wolfieplaysmerch.com right now we do shirts hoodies mugs twat beanies coming back very soon but if you go to wolfieplaysmerch.com for a limited time only you can use code summer 21 all one word all caps you can use code summer 21 and you can get 10 percent off everything just wanted to throw that out there. It's only up for a few days though, so get your ass over there. Dude, please tell me this Y ability actually like does some damage. Like, I mean, the standard laser beam seems to be pretty good. But not when I'm getting bundled by like five zombies. What about the shield? How much is this soaking up? <clears throat> okay, it does not protect against ZPG. Private puddles don't give a shit. You see, this episode is going to be kind of a mixed bag because I'm playing a super beam, but at the same time, I fucking hate him. So I don't really care if anything bad happens to him. Kind of quite happy to see him die sometimes, just like it would be if I was playing against him. Right, let's try this again. No, that does absolutely no damage. So really, your best bet is just using the laser beam. Oh, hang on. I need that. Nice. Nailed it. Probably the one thing that really bugs me about... 
I can't pick up the orbs. I can't even confirm kills for my team. So what? I actually cannot score a single point. I am effectively worthless in this game of Vanquish Confirmed. I serve no purpose, apart from getting kills so that my teammates can then try and pick it up. Well, the good thing is the laser beam clearly doesn't overheat ever, so I can just kind of stand here and go to town. So I'm just going to have to kind of pick a teammate and just stick with him, like, the entire time. Why are they all just sort of congregated there letting me shoot them? I don't get it. I mean, I know they're computers, but, like, isn't AI supposed to stand for artificial intelligence, not artificial idiot. It seems like this shield does soak up quite a bit. He says as he gets killed. And teabags. I'll say the one thing about this is really bugging me is that there's no ding when I get a kill. That is just fucking my psyche up completely. Oh shit. Hang on. I need this. Whoa. It didn't make a difference. Yeah, Super Bean is OP, but not like Missile Madness. There's so many orbs down there. You can get all of them. There's literally two orbs right there. What are you playing at? Pick the fucking orbs up. Oh my fucking god, they're stood right there. They're stu There's three! Half of them are fucking despawned now. What is the point? Okay, that, that was just a dick move. There was no need for that. So nice not having to overheat. I wish Hockey Star worked like this. Oh, I just want to pick the orbs up. Don't worry, I'll get them. I'll shoot them with my harmless laser. They should have called this Buzz Lightyear's laser. You know how it looks kind of cool, but I actually don't do shit. We're gonna catch him. Oh shit, I actually got him with that. Can't tell because there's no ding, but I'm pretty sure sound mods are a thing in this game as well. So like you could change the sound effect for getting a kill. I'm pretty sure you could probably change the music for legendary modes. Honestly, you can probably change everything. I've heard of some pretty serious shit that people know. Okay, I can still get gravity naded though. I can't pick up orbs, but I can get gravity naded. Okay, this is my one question, Popcap. If I can't pick up any orbs, can I at least pick up my own orb? Okay, I can pick up my own one. Yes, finally, I can contribute. I denied them one point. I'm gonna go Team Vanquish this time just so that I can actually help. See, this is gonna be a thing as well. We got the super chili bean. Uh. I'll leave that for another episode. I told you, I'm milking the fuck out of this series. We ain't doing two bosses in one video. Well, that went well. I, I refuse to believe that this thing does nothing. There's, there, there has to be a way. There has to be a way that I can somehow get a kill with this. Is it plausible to get a kill with something that does zero damage? Can I at least get an assist? Yeah, that'll do. I contributed to my virtual team's victory with an ability that does zero damage. That is how sick I am at Garden Warfare 2. Yeah, in hindsight, that probably wasn't the best play. What if I just go up to someone and just mash RT and see what happens? Skill, that is. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode of PVZ Mods. If you've enjoyed it and you want to see more from the series, then make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Turn on the notification bell in. Sorry, I'm on T-Overload right now. I needed a break. So I'm going to end the video and then I'm going to go make one. See you next time.